Hi, I'm Leanne. I'm a light worker and a mother to three special girls. I strive to continue learning, growing, and to collect new skills. I'm a psychic medium, Reiki master teacher, and a Kashuk record reader and energy healer. I am so excited to share what I've learned and what I'm going to learn and the ups and downs of life. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Welcome to Life of a Lightworker podcast. Hello. This week, my card pull is from the Karen K. Oracle of the Fairies deck. The card I pulled for all of you today is Ask for Help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. And from the book that came with the deck, there are times in our lives when we need celestial assistance, and that time may be now. Angels are omnipresent, non-denominational beings who can be called upon for help by anyone at any time for any kind of assistance. From clearing congested traffic to fast healing after a medical procedure. Perhaps you're independent and can and feel that you can sort out everything and anything on your own without help. Fairies, too, are generally self-sufficient creatures and can usually deal with any challenges that might arise. But on occasion, even the fairies need a little divine intervention and may ask for an angelic helping hand. It makes perfect sense if we humans can call on the angels. Why wouldn't the fairies ask for angelic intervention too? This card may be telling you that an angelic boost would be beneficial for you or someone you know at this time. With this card, the fairies are encouraging you to call upon your personal guardian angel to help you through any tricky situation you may be experiencing. The fairies will also sprinkle some fairy dust on you to give you some cheer and joy during this challenging time or even if you just need a little fairy boost. Be aware that sometimes fairies are referred to as the angels of nature, or nature angels, but they're not celestial angels. The roles are very different from one another, though they sometimes meet somewhere in the middle. Remember that there are no rules, that the angels are happy to work the fairies and humans alike, when it's for the highest good of all. I work with my angels, my guardian angels, every day. I bring them in for protection. I ask them for help for finding parking spots, helping make traffic go smoothly, get to an appointment on time, help with my children, help with daily tasks, but also larger tasks that I'm trying to um, work through or things to manifest. I try to incorporate them into all aspects of my life and when I call upon them when I ask them to come be with me I feel the strong unconditional love presence and it's very powerful and I don't think there's anything much like it I call upon them quite often during my healings and I can just feel the power boost happen when they step in I think that it's quite wonderful that we all have guardian angels that we can call upon at any time. They're your angels. They're yours to use for your highest good. They'll know. They'll, they're, if you ask them for something that's not for your highest good, they're not going to help you because they are working for your higher self, for the things that your higher self has planned for you and will be to the betterment of you and to the world. So you can ask anything and know what comes through is going to be for your highest good. And right now, with all the the chaos and the energy shifts, it's a wonderful time to bring in our angels, if you haven't already done so, because they can give us that warm, unconditional love hug. Ask them before bed to come help you when you're sleeping, be with you during the day, if you start incorporating them into your daily life, I firm, I really strongly believe that you'll see improvements in just your general mood, how things are flowing for you, how your energy feels. It's, it's really like no other. Like I felt many different types of beings and angel beings are very, 
very high vibrational. It's, you can tell that they are extremely close to source. They're probably the closest being to source that I have personally encountered. And I know from a lot of people, they feel very similar. And we're so lucky to have them. So why can't, why, why shouldn't you use them? Why shouldn't you invite them into your lives? That's what they want. They want to work with you. So invite them in. They can only work with you unless you invite them in, just like every other member of your spirit team. But the only difference for angels is that if your life is in danger, then they will step in without being asked. They're the only ones that can do that. So that shows how powerful they are, that they are able to do that. So let them ignite that magic inside you. Let them bring all of that creativity and divine love inside you and let it foster and grow. Let them amplify your love and work in a symbiotic relationship with them. That's what we're meant to do. We're supposed to collaborate with all these beings for the betterment of ourselves, each other, and the whole I want to say human race but it's more than that it is every soul it's all of us let me see if there's anything um that comes through if i uh, connect with that energy um, yeah when i just connected to general en angel energy i just heard you are loved so we are all deeply, truly, unconditionally loved by angels. And sometimes people have a hard time accepting that love because they don't feel worthy. But you are worthy. Every single person, every single soul is worthy of unconditional love. It doesn't matter what you've done. What matters is that you are a soul. And all souls deserve love. Let me see if anything else comes through. Sometimes when you feel the weight of the world on your shoulders, asking your angels to help alleviate that weight, let them come behind you with their strong wings and carry it for you and give you the strength to carry more on your own because you're carrying it together as the load you're sharing the load with them you feel their strong wings on your back carrying you supporting you helping you soar through the challenges that the world is facing that you are facing that we are working through together So for, don't be afraid to ask for help. Ask for little things, big things, everything. Invite the angels completely into your lives to transform the energy that is surrounding you, that is within you, that can radiate out. The more we, all of us as a collective, incorporate this unconditional divine love, the, the easier this energy shift is going to be the truer to divine love it's going to be and one of the easiest ways to increase our unconditional love and our frequency is by asking our angels to come in and asking them to work with us that is probably the simplest way to do it and it is extremely effective and it is one of the strongest ways that we can do it too so not only is it easy but it's wrong it's it's a beautiful way and this is a good reminder for me to start talking about angels a little bit more. I use them all the time but I need to talk about it a little bit more with my family, with my friends so that we can all incorporate this beautiful love, this beautiful light into our lives. For some of you that might not know, an angel is a, a being that is extremely close to source. They are very, very high vibrational, and for the vast majority of them, they have not incarnated into a physical existence. 
they have not been in a physical body. There are some exceptions of some being some that have either come down and have gone all the way back up again, or beings that have been born more of a, a physical um, vibration, that type of soul, and have worked their way up, but it's pretty rare right now anyways. I'm sure it's going to change in the future, especially since all these shifts are happening. But for most people, their guardian angels have never been on a physical plane. They've never, as in their bodies, have never been physical. They have only had light bodies or temporary physical bodies that have, they haven't lived in them. There are some angels who have chosen to leave that realm to learn new things, to have different experiences for themselves, and have come down into um, a physical body. And I have read quite a few people that have had angelic lives, and I've had one myself. I'm, And people can have multiple angelic lives. And... That's, there's a whole variety of things that could you can do in past lives. It's kind of endless what is possible. I keep learning and seeing new things, and that's really exciting. But the biggest takeaway for angels that I want to really drive home uh, is that they are the energetic being. They are the soul that is the closest to source that we can connect to that can help us. So why wouldn't we ask their assistance and ask their help. They can do more for us than our spirit guides. They can do more for us than our loved ones in spirit. They can do more than the galactic beings. They are very powerful and have so much love for us. They have unconditional love. So their love is so strong. And if they want to help us, as long as it's for our highest good. So if it's for our highest good, there's no reason why they wouldn't help us. So asking for their assistance is, I think, really important for our development as people, but also the world, because asking them to come in just raises our vibrations so much. It helps so much. I really, really, really hope you guys ask for some help this week, even if it's simple as finding a good parking spot, because the simple things that they show up on, you notice, and then you really believe, and then you'll ask for the bigger things. So I really, really hope you guys play around with your angels, get to know them a little better, feel their energy, invite them into your lives, have some fun. That's what they're supposed to do. Have fun. And I, I'll let you guys know that I'm still doing some master classes. I have one on the 30th of April that is doing cord cutting and boundaries. And then my last one of the series is going to be on May 5th. And that's going to be working on pendulums and oracle cards. I hope you guys can join me. And if you can't, then you can buy a ticket and watch the replay as well. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. My website is spruceenergyhealing.com, my email is spruceenergyhealing at gmail.com, and on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, it's Spruce Energy Healing. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.